thank you for coming out this morning. It's always awkward to come out, and invite the children to come forward, and nobody comes out. How are you just this morning? Are you good? CD. <laughs> uh, well, hi, Larry. Hi, everybody. And, and how are you doing? Very good. Um, tell us, Larry, what, what's it like to be a king of the jungle? Well, it's an awesome responsibility. Yes. And, you know, I can't do it by myself. So, you as king can't lead everybody? Oh, yeah, leading is fine. But I can't do all the work by myself. You know, it takes everybody, the whole pride, to make the thing work. Okay, so you don't go out and kill all the meat for your, uh, your pride, and you don't uh, protect everybody by yourself, and, you know, all those things, man. Yeah. It's a busy job. Big thing to do. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, what would it be like if, if everybody thought you would do it all? I don't know if they'd be very much. And uh, a hyena would certainly come and attack us. Okay? And um, so it takes everybody to work together, doesn't it? Yeah, sure does. Okay. Well, you know, that's the same thing that happens in any organization, especially the church. We're invited to work together. Not one or two people operate the church. Everybody has talents and abilities that God invites us to use to bring about the work of the church. And uh, there are some that, that would easily say, well, my talent's not very much. I don't count. You can, you can let me go. And yet, that's not true. Everybody is needed. Everybody is important. So, Larry, what about the, the little ones, the little lions? They might feel insignificant, but what, what do they do to help with the pride? Well, they come up and surprise us. The little ones will jump on us and attack us and play with us and keep our hearts smiling. And yeah, they get to be a bother sometimes, but they're all right. Okay. So little ones are important too. Yeah, they are. And uh, everybody is important. Everybody is important. So some people might look at somebody else and say, ah, they're not very important. What can they do? Those are the ones who are vital, as you'll hear in a few minutes. Those are the ones that might be the most important. The ones who are in front like Larry and I, we can only do so much. We depend upon others to help us out. And I can only do so much because God has gifted me to do so much, and Larry's only able to do a few things, and so we all need everybody's talents to be in service for the Lord so that together we can have a very strong church, a very strong organization, a strong outreach for the Lord but it takes everybody to be a part of it. So Larry, what would happen if you went on vacation? What's a vacation? Yeah, that's about right. Uh, but what would happen if you were to suddenly disappear for a while? I don't know. Everything would kind of fall apart, wouldn't it? Yeah. So there are some people who are in leadership positions, there are other people who are in uh, service positions, but everybody's needed. Think about it for a minute. What would happen if we no longer had people coming around and collecting our garbage? Mm, that'd be horrible, wouldn't it? Or what would happen if the people who send us electricity were to suddenly say, that's enough, and they'd shut the electricity off? Ooh, that'd be hard, wouldn't it? Or how about the people who work for um, clean water? We don't see them very often. We don't care a lot about them, but they're important. 
And so they use their tasks, their abilities, to help everybody out. And when, when everybody works together, not only does a community work, but any organization works together as everybody uses their gifts and abilities to make it work. So let's pray and ask God to help us to find our talents so that we can be working for Him too. Can we? Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you have given each one of us special gifts to use according to your will so that you might be glorified in all that we do. We thank you for those gifts and pray that you would encourage us and challenge us to use those gifts, those talents, to bring honor and glory to you. Thank you, God, that you have blessed us abundantly. Help us to be courageous enough to use those gifts for you. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for joining me this morning.